Okay, so here's my gold nib. This is the original one that I got. I do have a second one that I thought, oh, I'll get the second one if I wear it out that I got at some point. Um, but this is still the very first one that I ever got and used. And I just make sure that I frequently clean it off in water um, while I'm using it so the ink doesn't get clogged into these grooves. And when I first got it, I washed it um, with some toothbrush and an old toothpaste to get the manufacturing oils off of it. And basically all I do is I dip that all the way down into the ink so that, you know, that ink is covering most of the grooves. It might be a little far, but, um, and then I don't have a big blob hanging off of the end. And then I'm kind of going on at like a 45 degree angle a lot of times and just drawing kind of lightly. I'm not pressing too hard. And then when it starts to get light, I dip it again. And then to do dots, I'm kind of twirling the pen also as I'm using it so that I'm getting um, the ink from the different edges. Um, but there's nothing special that I've, that I've done here um, on there. This is a brand new ink that I opened and I thought, ooh, might be a tiny bit thick. So I added a little bit of water to it. And I know they say you should add distilled water to it, but I've had good luck adding water out of my faucet to these. Um, uh, usually adding the regular water I think could could possibly mold but I've never had that problem for whatever kind of water that I've got coming out of the spigot here I don't know if it's hard water or soft water but I do think it's probably fairly soft water because um, I don't need to add any softener to the water when I wash my hair and such so I think it's probably pretty soft um, but I just have real good luck just dipping and going. So maybe try the pen at an angle, not straight up and down. Cause straight up and down, you're not really picking any ink up from the grooves. And then I slightly twirl it as I'm using it uh, a lot of times too, just to make sure I'm getting the ink from all the angles. And then frequently, um, I've got a water here and I'll go ahead and clean that off. Um, in the water just to make sure nothing's drying in those grooves and then just kind of wipe that off um, and keep it pretty clean pretty frequently. Um, but that's all I do. I had real good luck just dipping and going. Some people um, say that they've just never had that luck doing that so I don't know if they're pressing too hard or if it's the paper type. This is cold press watercolor paper um, but I've also got um, a little project here that I'm working on um, that's got watercolor on it already and you can see I can just kind of follow the lines and again I'm slightly twirling it as I'm going I'm coming in at like a 45 degree angle so it's not straight up and down and I've just never had a problem with creating the dots and the swirls um, by doing that so hope that helps everybody and I'll see you guys next time